Hello everyone. I always say that maths is a subject. जहाँ पे आप जो भी सीख रहे हैं वो आप खुद देख सकते हैं कि वो रियल लाइफ में काम कर रहा है मतलब आप जो भी सीख रहे हैं आप उसको टेस्ट कर सकते हैं ठीक है तो आज हम लोग एक बहुत ही इंटरेस्टिंग प्रॉब्लम खुद करके और प्रूव करके देखेंगे ठीक है तो आज का जो टॉपिक है जो इंटरेस्टिंग सब है कि हम एक पेपर को फोल्ड करके हम आज से लेके मूव तक का डिस्टेंस कवर कर सकते हैं ठीक है तो सुन के मुझे थोड़ा सा अजीब सा लगेगा कि हाउ वी कैन कवर इट बट ये वी कैन डू इट लेट सी ओके अच्छा अर्थ और जो मून का डिस्टेंस है वो कितना है सो लेट्स राइट इट डिस्टेंस बिटवीन अर्थ एंड मून सो व्हाट इज इट हाउ मच इज इट ओके द सर्च यू आर सर्च इन गूगल तो आपको भी मिलेगा कि जो डिस्टेंस है इस 3 लाख 84400 किलोमीटर्स राइट अच्छा नाउ आई विल शो यू ऑल हाउ बाय जस्ट फोल्डिंग अ सिंपल पेपर वी कैन कवर दिस distance now see okay now suppose this is a simple paper that i have a normal paper right and so now what do you all think what should be the thickness of this this thickness should be how much ki tarah se let's assume that this thickness is say for example is 0.0001 cm it's very less something okay that is something that i have taken as 0.001 cm is it all okay and so now Now the concept here is that if you can fold this paper fifty times, remember it. If you can fold this paper fifty times, you will cover the distance between Earth and Moon. So that means if you can fold this paper fifty times, you'll reach Moon. Now see, we'll do it. Okay. Now suppose if I'm folding it, suppose from the middle, but the condition is you have to fold it from the middle. Now see, if I fold it. I think we all can understand this fact that now the thickness will be the double of the previous one, right? Isn't it? We are folding it, so obviously the thickness will become double. So that means suppose again I'm folding, it. so again it will double. So the point is that every time I fold this paper, the thickness will keep on becoming double of it, right? So suppose again I'm folding, okay? Now practically, when you all will try to fold this paper, you all will see that you all will not be able to fold it more than six to seven times. Maximum you can do it six or seven times. After that, practically you will not be able to fold it. But theoretically, if it is possible to fold the paper fifty times, so let's see that this thickness will become how much. But if you have to understand this concept or at least prove this concept, so you should be either a student of class ten or more than that. Okay, because for this we will be using a concept that is called geometric progression or GP. Using the concept of GP, we'll prove it that if I fold this paper fifty times, I'll cross the distance between the Earth and the Moon. So let's see. Okay. Now according to GP, like suppose if I take this thickness. The term of a GP or a geometric progression. So let us consider this to be my first term. So this is my first term. So I'm taking A as 0.0001 centimeters. No problem with that, right? After this, now if I, if the, my next element is twice of it, and then again the next element is twice of it, that means you all can understand that the common ratio it is becoming two because every time. Every element is twice of the previous one. So that means there is a ratio, common ratio of two between any two consecutive terms, and that is what the concept of GP is all about, right? Now, if we apply, so that means if I want to know that what will be the total thickness if I add or if I fold this paper fifty times, so that distance you can calculate by using applying the sum formula of GP. What is the formula of sum? It is a into R to the power n minus one divided by R minus one, right? So this formula is applicable when the R absolute value of R is more than one. And in this case, the common ratio is two, so this is more than one. So this is the formula that we all are going to apply, right? So let's substitute the values. So the first one is how much? Zero point zero 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 one into R to the power n. And how many times I fold it? Or fifty times I need to fold. That means here 
divide here by n is 50, right? Because I'm finding the sum of the force 50 terms. So r to the power 50, that means 2 to the power 50 minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1. Now, now calculate this. So if you calculate, then 2 to the power 50 may come somewhere near to 1.15 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. or some big value, right? So I'm just keeping the first three decimal places. So it's 1.125 into 10 to the power 15 minus 1 and whole divided by 2 minus 1, which is 1. Okay, so if you have to calculate the area, calculate the area, calculate the area, if you have to calculate the area, you have to calculate the area. So it will be something near to 1.125 into 10 to the power 11. Okay, but the value is in centimeters, right? You do agree with that, the value is in centimeters. So if you want to convert this to kilometers, so what do you will divide with? Divide with. You will divide with this value by, so you are first converting centimeters to meters, right? 100. And meter to kilometer another thousand. So that means you just divide by 10 to the power 5. Right? Now calculate. Up again. So you are dividing this by 10 to the power 5 to convert this to kilometer. Do it. You can do it in the calculator. So you have to find you'll be getting in kilometer something like this. So it's 1, 1, 2, 5, 0, 0, 0 kilometers. What was the distance between the earth and the moon? It was 3 lakh. 84,400 kilometers was a six digit number and this one is a seven digit number so it's clear that this value is more than this so that means if i'm folding a paper more than 50 times i'm going to cross move not only reach move i'll cross move so i'm covering more than the distance between the earth and the moon isn't it it's not that a very interesting problem and you can think about it and the thing is that those who have learned GP is an excellent application of this problem. I hope you all have enjoyed the problem. To get more such videos and to watch more such videos and the uh, videos related to the concepts of your entire syllabus, you can subscribe to this channel. I'm Michael Dutta. You all are watching the mathematics. How about someone?